actually only in Urdu, which is the language that we speak in Pakistan. It's been a challenge because I've actually learned how to relearn how to speak my own language because I've spoken in English so much. Anyway, getting back to the subject. In the middle of all of this, however, I didn't give up on the things that I wanted to get across. So when it came to breast cancer, my solution was to talk about cancer without actually using the word breast. I invited women doctors, experts, and talked about how women were at how to well, how women over 40 need to get themselves screened, and at any stage you feel something's wrong, go and get yourself checked. I know this sounds very, very basic over here, but in Pakistan it's a step. It's a baby step. But sometimes you do need to hold a hand and get people forward. I just find that when you push boundaries and when you try and force change onto people, sometimes people get very, very upset. On a less serious note, uh, social constraints are equally an issue when it comes to acting in locally produced films and dramas. How do you show love or emotion or intimacy when actors are not allowed to touch each other, let alone kiss? Well, there are many different ways. The old-fashioned ways to translate feelings into words. Have the hero romance the heroine with wit and passion. I'm talking about very traditional stuff. Don't mean to offend anyone. This is Pakistan I'm talking about. Another way is to change your acting style. When you do films in the West, you're told to act smaller. I remember when I started working in Canada initially, I was constantly told, make, make, make your character smaller, it's too big. Well, in Pakistan, you have to act large. We have to overact and emphasize emotions with words and gestures. Like Norma Desmond in Sunset Boulevard, we have to learn to break hearts with just one look. I want to repeat the point I made a bit earlier. We are taught too often that constraints are terrible things and that every time somebody tries to stop us, we must bulldoze our way through and change the system. Bring about a revolution. I'm not saying that it's wrong. I'm just saying that there are other ways. When I first joined the media, I used to challenge every constraint and scream as loud as I could against it. But people don't like screaming. They don't like confrontation. Many of them simply tune out. What I've learned now is that nudges can be just as effective as pushes. That working for change within a system is often more useful than railing against the system. Or as they say back home, focus on eating the fruit, not counting the trees. So don't be afraid of constraints. As the saying goes, necessity is the mother of invention. If you embrace constraints and if you embrace challenges, you will become a better artist. Only when one is limited can one begin the journey to becoming completely limitless. This is something I heard on a TED talk recently. I don't want to take credit for it. You will be forced to look within yourself and to use all of your skills. That will be good for you and your art, no matter what your art may be. Thank you.